the top of my head. This is not a chair. You can take the first seat. Hello and welcome to part one of the Fred Essentials tutorial series. My name is Claudio Breuer and I'm happy to guide you through the next couple of minutes. First off, I'd like to start with a quick introduction into the interface of FRED. Um, at the top you find a, a menu bar that holds entries for all functionality available to you within FRED. Just click on those entries to get the drop-down menus with all functionality. Below that you find an icons tab that offers you shortcuts two more often used functions like backplates or the wireframe mode, as well as statistics and a few others. In the center you find the render view. The render view is your visual feedback of your scene. In the top right corner you find a navigation cube that enables you to quickly jump to specific viewpoints throughout the scene just by clicking these edges and faces. At the bottom you find the quick access bar. The quick access bar offers you shortcuts to um, more often used modules such as the material editor or the camera editor. At the very bottom you find the info bar. The info bar holds information about the current memory consumption as well as the current render mode as well as a few various other uh, functions and options that we are not going to discuss in detail right now. Okay, the first thing to do would be to import a data set. To do that you can simply click this icon here or you go to File Open, which does the same by the way. Um, click on your object you want to import or just navigate to it. Mine is on the desktop in a folder called model. Um, at the moment we support various formats to import, but I'll stick to my FBX right now. Okay, um, this menu appears when you open something or you add something and it asks you if you want to center the uh, object in the origin or if you want to put it on the ground or if you want to adjust the object size. I want to adjust it to um, this value here because I know it's a small car so I'll put it to this value and I'm happy with it. And click OK. And after a few seconds my object should appear in the view and there it is. OK. Um, to navigate through the scene you can use the left mouse button to rotate around the pivot or the right mouse button to zoom and the middle one to pan. Okay, as we see we already have some kind of environment here. Click the wireframe button to select something and just see the feedback. Um, to select objects in the render view just shift a uh, press shift button and just click something and you see this guy dome is geometry we have the triangles here okay so we have we already have some kind of environment and that's a good thing to start with and um, in the next few t tutorials we're going to see how to shade objects and to light objects as well as to animate something. Be sure to uh, check out the other tutorials. Um, I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching. Bye.